morning everyone it is Friday and I have the day off cuz we I actually have the next several days off we were supposed to actually be in Vegas um this weekend into early next week due to a football tournament but um, it got canceled for our age group so due to some birthday logistics and so forth which can happen so it's actually one of the tournaments I was looking forward to um, but that's okay there's always next season if we go next season so anyway as you just saw I went to Walmart I had to get some things for the house um, I can do a little I guess grocery haul when we get home it's not really groceries it's just more so household supplies anyway I am tired I feel like I'm always tired I don't know if it's my age and I need to start slowing down or what the deal is but I'm always freaking tired anyway um so today we do have a bunch of errands to run um as soon as i get home and get the car unloaded i want to start whipping up some challah bread so that we can do some french toast probably tomorrow morning now since it's about eight o'clock now and it's getting kind of late but um made a whole to-do list of things i want to get done today i've already started laundry i've already started dishes We'll be doing dishes throughout the day just because that's how life rolls. Um, other than that, nothing terribly exciting. I'm hoping that I can get a Costco run in today too because we are out of quite a few things or getting low on quite a few things and need to do like a little mini restock. Um, I plan on doing like a much bigger Costco shop here in the next couple of weeks, but if I go to Costco today, I'll bring you guys along with me um, and maybe do a little Costco haul at the very end of that as well. But it has just been a freaking week. If, if you would have told me it was a full moon this week, I would have believed you wholeheartedly. It has been one of those weeks. But some good, some bad, some indifferent. So anyway... The boys are out of school today too. They have, I think it's like a grading period or something like that. And next semester starts next week. So they're home today. They were home yesterday also. So we get to spend some time with the kiddos on top of getting the house back into shape. Seems to be what I do every freaking weekend. <laughs> but um, yeah. I think that's about all I have for right now. On my way home. It is a different day, you guys. Some days I must say I thoroughly suck at this whole vlogging thing. So yesterday I wanted to do a haul when I got home from Walmart, but I came home to a disastrous, um, what is it called? A um, estate sale next door and they, blocked my driveway they blocked my mailbox they blocked my garbage cans for being picked up all kinds of stuff anyway super irritated did end up going to costco yesterday didn't record a haul on that either um there was just a lot going on so anyway today is a stunning day blue skies absolutely love it today as you can see i'm out here in a t-shirt so it is perfect out let me go let the dog in because she is frantic right at this moment. So anyway, needless to say, I sucked at vlogging yesterday. But that's okay because we have plenty of projects to come, plenty of things to film coming soon, including taking care of all that all the garden space behind me but I thought I'd get out here and get a little bit of fresh air I do have a couple things I want to do today out here before the blue skies go away I want to pick up some of the piles of weeds and stuff that I've been working on weeding the garden beds and things like that that I started a few days ago that I haven't been able to finish yet but um Tonight's dinner is out here on the smoker. All 
show you guys what we got here. Put it together three racks of ribs and we're trying a new rub that I haven't used before. So we'll see how it tastes. It's hot honey chipotle, I think is what it's called. But here, let me flip you around. That is dinner. So. so hopefully that turns out really, really good. I'm really excited for it. I'm not really hungry right now. We ended up having, hmm, what were they? Soup dumplings for lunch today. Soup dumplings and I put together some pot stickers. So simple. There you go. I didn't put them together. They were pot stickers and soup dumplings I got from Costco yesterday. <laughs> anyway, oh, we did put together some seeds today though. I'll take you into where I put the seed shelf, um, grow shelf, whatever you want to call it. I'll take you inside it and show you what I did with that. I cleared out a spot in the laundry room um, to get that set up. Um, why don't I take you in there to look at that real quick and show you what we got. All right. Sorry if you hear the sound in the background. That is our dryer drying some laundry for me. But anyway, we started some seeds today. Obviously you can't see anything but soil and pots. <laughs> but we have a full tray here of early jalapenos. There should be 21 plants if they all come up. A couple of them have doubles, I think, in them. Um, and then this tray here, we have 21 seeds also of Craig's Grande jalapenos. As you can tell, we love jalapeno peppers. Um, sorry, the discoloration is kind of funky. It's because the lights we have in here um, to hopefully help germinate and get these seeds growing. But anyway, we love jalapenos. We do cowboy candy every year. Plus we like to make homemade jalapeno poppers and all that kind of stuff. So that's hopefully 42 uh, jalapeno plants. Obviously I can start more here soon if they don't sprout. And then this whole tray here, all of those guys, those are the giant Marconi peppers. Um, I've heard nothing but great things about them. I personally have never tried them before or grown them before or any of that. So um, we'll do that this year. And I can't remember if I said it already, but there's 21 of those. So then in here, we actually have 21 uh, pots again. Um, all of them other than these three, these three here are like a spicy Korean pepper that, um, we're trying to grow for the first time this year. The rest of those are broccoli rob. So there's that. I do want to start some regular broccoli and some cauliflower. I just didn't, I ran out of um, the seed starting mix. So I need to go get more of that. So we're kind of stuck where we're at for the moment, but hopefully by the end of this weekend, we'll have more. And then this here, these three in the front here are habanero peppers. Um, a certain type, I can't remember what kind, I'll have to find the package to them. But anyway, these three are habaneros, and then the rest of that back there are assorted um, bell pepper plants. So I do have some like yellow monster and a couple other types that I want to start too. But uh, again, ran out of seed starting mix. So there's that, and we have these nice industrial, they're kind of gross and dirty on top, but these big indus industrial lights here and then I have more down here because we have space on the floor below to be able to start more seeds. But that is just the start of where we are at currently. I am clearly ready for garden season and beyond excited for it. Anyway, so that's kind of that for right now. Let me get under my plum tree here. This plum tree this is a Burbank plum and it has delicious plums every year. They are so sweet. This will be our third year um, getting fruit from it and I'm pretty darn excited. So I can't wait to take you guys along for this garden journey this year because it's going to be so much fun. I absolutely love it. But this bed I'm staring at right now, I have all kinds of work that needs to be done on it. I'm not sure what's going on over here. We'll figure it out, but there's my dirty old greenhouse. But back in here, I don't think I've taken you guys on this side of the yard yet. Um, 
But here we have a giant uh, Bartlett pear. And then this here is another Bartlett pear, just not nearly as big. Um, so we'll see what, what goes on with that. Oh, that's kind of funky looking. I'm not sure what that is. And then over here, this one's new to the backyard this year. This is a, I think it's pronounced Camise pear. Um, to hopefully help pollinate the other two pear trees. And then we have a couple of curl-free, Oregon curl-free peach tree, I think is what it's called. Curl-free peach tree is what the tag says. Anyway, so I got one there. And then we have another one here. It's doing pretty good. But anyway, that's kind of it for right now. I went ahead and got all the trees sprayed uh was it last weekend i think it was last weekend i got all the trees sprayed and got them all trimmed back and actually had to pull out one of my apple trees tried to rescue it rescue mission failed but that's okay because i have four other apple trees i have one right over here that is a honey crisp i also have a two honey crisp and a fuji apple tree out front so anyway Kind of it for the day. Can't wait to get this place going. All right.